something that probably have to say. I understand. Yeah. Okay, so welcome, welcome all of you. I'm so happy uh, to uh, to greet you here with Natalie and Leila, as you may know. And I am speaking from Paris, France. And today we're exploring connection to nature. And uh, Natalie and I thought it'd be a good idea to start just by asking you um, just where you are and uh, on which side of the um, planet Earth you are. And uh, what brings you here to this exploring connection to nature today? And what's the easiest connection that you have to nature? And then we'll, we'll start uh, working uh, together. Is that all right? Yeah. So who wants to begin? What brings you here and your connection with nature? I'm happy to begin if that's okay. Um, my name's Jen and I am in Scotland. And I am he I'm here partly because I'm doing the um, creative mind training, as I, I, I'm guessing we, we all are, but I'm doing the creative mind training with Stephen. And um, I, um, I'm really... Um, I'm really excited about the, the 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 whole idea of kind of connecting more deeply with nature. I live next to a country park on the edge of a city in Edinburgh, and I am um, I'm trying to kind of I've been working a lot with Zoom. I work as a therapist, and I'm trying to bring some walking therapy through nature, involving trees and things into my work, and ultimately. Uh, integrating some of 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 Stephen's work, and um, I, yeah, I've 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 had moments where I've been felt quite connected with nature, and I've had other moments when I've found it more difficult. I'm trying to um, start to swim in you know wild swimming at the moment, so that's a kind of another way that I'm trying to sort of do something um, to, so I can't remember actually all the questions. I'm not sure if I've answered them all, but um, I hope I hope that's, um, and, and actually this is the first kind of live session I've managed to come to that's not been part of the kind of core training. So um, I clearly was really drawn to this. So thank you. Thank you, Jen. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Someone else? Hi, Prakash. Hi there. You're right. Um, welcome, Prakash. So we've we've just started. Jen just introduced herself. Um, so uh, we are asking two questions. What brings you here today to exploring connection to nature in particular? And what is your easiest connection, your easiest way to connect uh, to nature? I can go. Yes. yes. Um, I'm in the UK and um, I, uh, yeah, part of the, oh yeah, I'm here because nature's my first resource um, and I just want to grow, grow more, more root, you know, expand um, uh, the first resource, I think really is connection with like moss because it's kind of a pioneer moss it, it, it comes it's the first plant from the from the mud in a way so yeah respect <laughs> <laughs> it's been there quite a while <laughs> thank, thank you, you i'd like to go next who wants to go next uh, I can go. Um, my name is Sean. I'm in China, in Hangzhou, China, which I just had a friend visit a few weeks ago and he said that this is a tree's heaven because <laughs> this city is just surrounded in so many trees here in China. I really feel like I'm living in a forest. 
that's one of my deepest connections is to trees and nature and also the sea. So it's kind of interesting for creative mind where before I could see these outside of myself. And the more than I go inside, I'm able to be a drop in the ocean and also be a tree. So these are some deep connections in nature for me. Thank you, Shen. So um, I can go next. Yes. So for me, um, I, I mean, I love nature. Uh, we've got a, a beautiful park uh, and, and river and the, you know, in the English Channel is not very far from where we, you know, it's our, and I think nature sort of is, is, is so beautiful. It, 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 it sort of invigorates me, you know, when I, when I sort of walk there. Um, I particularly remember doing the Camino in Spain uh, last year, you know, or year before. And, and that entails walking through, you know, forests and rivers and so on. And it, it's such a, a beautiful sort of uh, feeling when you do that. So um, when, when with Stephen we do this exercise of three minds, uh, I always have this uh, nature, you know, where we sort of say, I am the tree and I am the mountain, the rivers and so on. The, 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 the curiosity I have about that is that I'm becoming, I'm becoming so used to that. So I, I, I imagine my being in the same tree, the same forest regularly, right? And somebody was saying, are you, are you creating that yourself or is that coming through you, you know, in terms of connection to nature? <laughs> wow. so it's, uh, and it, it's always the same, you know, I, I feel as if I'm in the family of these trees, you know, and I know them and, you know, I can see the canopy and everything else that goes with it. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Prakash. Thank you. Michelle? Um, yeah, what brings me here? I just wanted to be with the two of you. <laughs> just, I love the way you um, present material and uh, give the space for us to learn. Uh, and that's important. And of course, nature uh, is, you know, that's where I reside um, inside my soul, I guess. Um, I live in a, a forest of 9,000 acres. So I've got five acres of my own, but then beyond that, it's all nature. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and my property is called Mystic Green, um, you know, and for me, it's, it's really a mystical experience almost every day. And I never take it for granted, but um, the easiest way to connect, and I, there's just so much, but I think that like when I'm in my, my home and I've got lots of plants and all that around me, but when I'm dealing um, in business or uh, communicating with people or dealing with traffic or doing the chores of life, I feel that I um, dissociate myself in order to survive on some level um, because I get, um, kind of like overwhelmed a lot by, you know, just a lot of stuff. But then I go, I open up my door and the experience is just the opposite of that. It's like, I'm completely open to the experience and it's a multimodal experience for me. So it, it's smell and touch and, you know, feeling and hearing and, um, so, yeah, and I call that normal. <laughs> That's when I feel normal. But um, I, one way that I can explain it is I used to live in Hawaii. And uh, so I would uh, fly back and forth from Hawaii to uh, California. And in Hawaii, everything is so humid and moist and uh, kind of like holding in a lot. I come over to California and it was a completely different nature feeling. And I, I love both. But when I got off the plane in California, I had this just this giant sigh of relief. 
And because the air, it was so fresh and uh, crisp. And even at the airport, I could feel the water. Um, uh, so yeah, those are some of my experiences with nature, but I'm here because I wanna learn more about nature. Um, and there's a lot of nature, like I have coyotes, which is a, a definite threat for me because I have dogs and I love them. So I'm always looking for them and then I take pictures of them. But on the other hand, there's this real, this reality that nature has its own, um, it, it has its own um, rules and laws uh, that's very important to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, so that's about it. That's what I bring in today. Thank you, Michelle, for sharing. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Barbara? Uh, bonjour, hello, I'm Barbara. I live in Ottawa, Canada. And I was a little preoccupied because we have a very special day today. It's very significant um, dealing with reconciliation. So I'll just leave that because that's nature. So we're, we're dealing with nature. So I want to be here just like Michelle, because I enjoy the two of you and what you do and what you bring. And in terms, I probably missed the first part. I apologize for that. But in terms of nature, um, I definitely resonate with trees a lot and forests. And I'm very fortunate that I can go into the country now on weekends to a lake and I just breathe in the water. I find it so calming. And I didn't realize how important it was until we were able to resurrect a boat and go on the water. Oh, the sun shining down and being part of the water is so healing. So I, I guess just, of course, nature is so much part of it. I do relate to the fact that it's easy to disconnect from nature with all our technical devices. You can even take it into nature these days, which I'm old enough to remember you couldn't do that. I would go for hikes. I, I was blessed to be able to, um, when I was much younger, to go and work in the Rockies and the mountain range in Alberta and British Columbia. And I just adored walking and hiking and being very aware in a very different way and being taught by my friends how important you honor nature, you honor the mountains and you're very careful of bears. <laughs> so just to relate to the connection that nature has its own rules, its own blessings, and I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you. you Barbara. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm just listening to you all. I've, I feel like I've already traveled the world <laughs> and connected to so many parts of nature. It's beautiful. Yeah, and so many ways of connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are all here for exploring connections to nature. So perhaps we can just begin our practice for that. And we just want first to invite you to take three deep, deep breaths. I'm going to stand for this. For those who want to stand, please feel free to do so. And so I invite you to. First, take a deep breath. Just inhale really deeply with your nose and exhale with your mouth. Really slowly, take the time. Breathing. Breathing in through your nose or mouth. And breathe out. And exhaling, nose and mouth. Last time, a real deep breath, breathing. Sense the air and breathe out. I just invite you now to close your eyes. Just be with you yourself. And feel your feet on the floor. Feel your toes. 
the sole of your feet, your heels. Feel them grounding on the floor. There's a sensation feet on the floor. You keep on breathing in and out, in and out. The air through, the, through your nostrils or your mouth. And that is one of the first connections to nature, the air. That's my relationship with the air, I breathe in and out. Yeah. Sense the connection to the wind, as if you can feel wind on your feet on the floor, on your body, inside of your hands, on your hair. Feel that. And perhaps that you can hear the wind. And it's so interesting to realize that when you pay attention to the air around you, you feel it. You feel it through the parts of your body that are not covered by clothes. You feel it in and out your nostrils, but also on your face. Sense the wind on your face, on your cheek, on your nose, on your mouth, on your eyes. in your forehead. On your name. And as I was listening to you earlier and traveling the world with you all, I was wondering whether it would be possible to sense and feel the air, the warm air, in some parts of the world, the crisp air of California by the ocean. And just experience that. Different temperature of the air in the world. with the air, just visualize that you are walking on grass, on moss, and sense each step on the grass. Perhaps you can see the grass. Perhaps it's light green. Perhaps the moss is dark green. Just sense what you are feeling as if you were barefoot, walking on the ground, on the grass. And what a nice thing to know that you can just remember and sense just by remembering the feeling of the grass on your feet and how you can notice the difference between the grass and the moss. And I like to play one foot and the other, maybe one on the grass, maybe one on the moss. 
feel and enjoy the difference between the two. Like next time I put my feet on the grass, I become the grass. And at each time I put my feet on the moss, I become the moss. I am. I am the grass. I am the moss. Feel the grass. Feel the moss. I can smell it as well. And just by the smell of it, I can imagine what it tastes like. Or maybe I remember tasting grass. Just like that. And what if you taste grass? Almost. What does it feel? And step by step, with the air, with the wind, with the grass and the moss, with the green color, you see a tree, a beautiful tree. It can be straight or not. Just explore first the connection with that tree, that beautiful tree. And when, when you look at it, what is it that you see first? Is it the trunk? Is it the roots? Is it the branches, the leaves? I don't know. Are there lots of leaves? Are they green? Can you hear the wind inside the branches? What are the shapes of the leaves? What color? Can you imagine how they would feel in your hand? Maybe you can even get closer to the tree to touch it. And you put your hand on the trunk. Just feel it. Make that connection with the tree. As a tree. And put your forehead on that tree. And just stay in connection branding on the floor, connected to the tree. I tree, feel the power of the tree. Feel the sensation under the skin of your palms. Feel the strength and the peace inside, the silence of nature. How it communicates with you, how it connects with you too. Maybe through your hands, maybe through the earth, the grass, on which your feet are standing. And perhaps you can go further and take a step in front of you. And when you take that step, you become that tree. You are the tree. I am 
the tree. Then sense your branches, just opening branches. Sense the air, the wind in your branches. And it's slightly moving. And as you can feel your branches moving with the wind and the leaves caressing your branches. You can also sense those roots going down and down in the earth. How far deep in the earth go these roots? I am. I am the tree. I am the branches. I am the earth. I am the ground. I am the wind. I am leaves. I am the sky. I am the earth. I am the forest. I am the water. I am the insects going up and down and inside the tree. And I sense that inside of me, deeply. I see, I hear. I feel. I feel. I sense. I hear. I smell. I taste. I smell. I taste. I'm open to nature. I am nature. I am the tree. I am the tree. I am the earth. And then I invite you to step back. come back in that forest and just see again that beautiful tree in front of you. See what you see, feel what you feel, feel what you feel. And as you look at the tree, you can sense what you've taken with you, what it has given you, the strength, the smell, that power, that toughness, that connection to the earth, the roots. And through the air with the branches and the leaves, and to the sky above. Explore the peace inside of you, the deep connection to nature, and just enjoy that connection. What a nice thing to know that when I breathe in the oxygen, it is transformed in my body to dioxide. 
and I exhale it for the tree to inhale the dioxide and transform it into oxygen for me to breathe in again. That's my relationship to the tree. So breathing, look in, and breathe out. At each time that you're breathing, you bring nature into you, yourself, in your body, in your cells, everywhere, without. Just enjoy the connection. Last deep breath. Breathe in. and breathe out. Transforming oxygen into dioxide and dioxide into oxygen. That's the dance we dance with the trees. Perhaps that you can just Give a self-hug to yourself to thank yourself for that journey, that connection into nature. Just take the time to come back home with that exploration to nature, with your sensation. what you saw, heard, felt. Just take the time to breathe in and breathe out with that self hug. And when you are ready, you can open your eyes. I can still feel the earth and the pebbles between my toes. Perhaps we can share what was your exploration if you want to share with us. How was it for you? Hi, uh, Barbara here. I found a lot of energy was coming right through my whole body. And um, I have the luxury of seeing the tree that I love just out to the left here. And um, just the just connecting to the ground and I almost heard the trees say I'm living in an urban environment and providing you with being a tree <laughs> so <laughs> and uh the other thing I the gifts such a strength it's a big huge blue pine kind of tree it's very very large and at times in my younger days, I used to put little crystals in the ground to keep it going and nurture it and put remedies in it to heal the tree. So I, I can relate to that, um, honoring the tree uh, as well. Um, just the flexibility of a pine and how it moves. Yeah. And, and maybe just thinking about how the tree used to have, we heard had other trees but they were removed and taken to a golf course or something. So maybe the tree missing its other trees 
and mm-hmm. carrying on. That's just the thought that came to me. I don't know. So that's what nature can do. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you for sharing. Ooh. Hey, um, I just really got a sense of um, getting time into a different perspective. Um, I was getting a lot of kind of um, memories come up of a prog- progress that I've made over years, and it just put them into a, a different, well, a sequence that I hadn't understood before. And that was really kind because um, time just gets all mixed up, I think, in our heads. And it just kind of gently showed me, no, no, there's definitely progression here. It's definitely happening. Just bear with us. You know, it doesn't happen overnight. But that's kind of what I got. Thank you, Anne. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Yeah, I um, uh, it, I was really amazing because I, I have a tree right here that I relate to very much. Um, but there was a point where going into, the, when you said go into the tree, uh, that I was able to feel the roots all the way down, but um, going out and connecting um, with, with the environment all around. Mm-hmm. And then uh, when you said, you know, about the branches um, and the air, the air came and it, it was all one. I mean, the air and, and the branches were, that was the communication. And then um, what I noticed, the sense of deep presence, a deep presence of, you know, what treeness is, is that there's this placement and a depth uh, that goes down and out, but up and there's this, uh, the presence is really about total acceptance of, uh, you know, environment of, of all that interplay. And um, <clears throat> it's hard to, you know, when you, it's hard to put words to it, but, um, you know, I, I just a sense of that, I mean, you know, I don't know if that's what one point is, um, but I, yeah, I just felt a very deep sense of, of um, presence as, and I don't know, with, as, in, you know, tree, I don't know what the, the words don't seem to match, oh. but, <clears throat> but um, yeah, and it's just like, I feel like crying now. <laughs> it's just like really, um, it was a you know, beautiful experience. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Michelle, for sharing. Um, I'm happy to share. Uh, it, was, it was really interesting because what I found myself um, feeling the wind and then um, I found myself really connecting with the idea of moss so I'm thanking Anne for that and I and I found myself just imagining that I was lying on the the kind of forest floor and I was had my face against the moss and I was feeling the sensation of that and um, yeah it felt really nourishing and I felt like I mean, it's autumn here and the leaves are falling and I felt like I had covered myself up with a kind of blanket of leaves. And um, so that was really lovely when I kind of moved into the tree because because that's my normal practice is kind of imagining myself as a tree and feeling the roots and feeling the branches and doing the movements, but just to kind of it, it felt really lovely to access something a bit different and then move into the familiar and do it as a bit of a dance. So I, I really, I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Thank you.
Um, I had a, a very interesting experience and so I want to share my gratitude for this journey that we just went on. And for me, I thought it was interesting. I love what you guys are saying about the energy, the connection, the roots that are going down. There's also this tasting of the moss, tasting of the grass. And for me, when I was able to embody the tree, I was embodying this familiar Douglas fir that I used to climb in Oregon. My experience was interesting. It was like I was the tree, could see myself, and then I could see beyond myself mm. as different resources, like different memories of connecting with trees and plants. Actually, one thing that popped up into my mind was a few years ago, I was a farmer. Out of college, I was a vegetable farmer. And so I traveled around different parts in the States. And I remember one day, there was a task that I had to plant winter squash. And so it was a really hot summer day. And I just remember moving and gliding, similar to if you guys have read Dune, <laughs> this place called Arrakis, just this very hot place and how these people just glided and just moved with the winds in nature, just planting one seed after the next, covering it in soil. There was really a deep love for each of these seeds during that day. And I just had this connection as I was the tree and also looking beyond and seeing this resource. So thank you so much for this journey. Thank you, Shen. Wow. Thank you. Uh, I would just like um, to echo what everyone has said. Thank you very much for a, a wonderful, wonderful journey through this uh, nature. Um, for me, um, it was interesting when I walked on the grass and the moss, I felt, uh, you know, the blades of the grass as I walked. And I felt the coolness of the moss stepping onto it. And then I was in this imaginary forest and I felt as if I was in heaven, you know, and I kept trancing in and out. You know? And um, there was, it, it was just a blissful state of, of beingness. You know, nothing was just happening, it was just there. And, and so that, that's a wonderful experience. Thank you. Thank you, Prakash. Thank you for sharing. Wow. I'm really blessed with what you've said. So it, what a journey. <laughs> that was really great. Yeah. Thank you. I really enjoyed to do that with Leila and with you all. And thank you for being here. And it was really nice to to hear your sharing too. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I want to say that each time each one of you uh, shared their experience, I could sense it. I could feel it too. And I, I was, I just felt that this journey was going on. And I felt like I was, I was the earth and I was the rocks and I was every sig single particle, just like you. And whenever you were sharing something about your experience that felt so true, I just had to have that breathe, breathing in really, really deeply um, to just integrate that in my body. And I feel like it's such a beautiful gift to have shared that with you all. And I, I want to say this, I wasn't going to say it, but I'll say it. Today is my birthday, and I feel oh. like it's such a beautiful <laughs> present. So thank you. Thank you. So I changed my icon. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to Leila. Leila. Bon anniversary, Leila. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's such a beautiful, beautiful present to be able to, to share this beautiful experience with you all. I'm so happy and I just want to spread this, you know, 
to the world. <laughs> so we, next time we are going to explore connections too, but we don't know yet which one. <laughs> light. It's body of light. This time, yeah, I guess we, we said body of light. Yeah, yes. body of light next time. Sorry, did I have some shining going on? Miss, last week, did you, did we saw it last week? Thank no, no, no ne next time, next time it's going to be body of light. Yes. Yeah. No, I was just, I just wondered, um, has there been three now? Is this the third or the second? No, it's the second. Oh, because I think, didn't it say on the date was the 24th? Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm here. That's the main thing. <laughs> we cancelled the last, uh, uh, and, and that's why. The last one was cancelled. So it's the second. Okay. You didn't miss anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I just so I just like to thank both of you, Leila and um, uh, is it Creelis? Natalie. 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 Just like to thank you because I last time we did this thing on on the body, and I, I find that even now such a wonderful experience just to sort of say hello toes, how are you doing today? You know, sort of just beautiful experience of connecting. And now when I connect the, myself, the body and, and nature, I have, I'll have two connections to work with and interplay with, with them and see you know, how, what that brings into the world. So right. it's a wonderful experience. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you to everyone. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, look at this. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> thank you so much. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. And thank we you. hope to see you for our next, uh, our next one. I think it's the 14th of October. Mm. Merci, Bye. thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you. Bye, thank you.